the Dynamics AX 2012 system, a user's access to the system is determined by his or her role membership. The Information Technology Manager would typically be responsible for making these role assignments to users. This would include doing the role assignment when a user is first introduced in the AX system. Additionally, in any organization, users have changes in their job functions. A common example of that would be a promotion or taking up a completely different responsibility. The cost incurred in responding to such big significant business events can be reduced by using a functionality called the dynamic role assignment. The information technology manager can use this functionality to set rules by which roles are automatically assigned to a user. In this video, we will see how Chris, an information technology manager, uses dynamic role assignment to ensure that any AX user being assigned to a particular job title automatically gets assigned the security role corresponding to it. In this example, Chris is the information technology manager for a company called FM Inc. FM Inc. is a fleet management company that deals with renting out cars and trucks and SUVs. We will see how Chris uses dynamic role assignment to ensure that any AX user being assigned a particular job title automatically gets assigned the security role corresponding to it. We will now see how Chris would set up a rule such that all users with the title clerk automatically get assigned to the security role fleet management clerk. Let us examine what Chris sees when he opens up the AX client. Within the system administration area, under setup, Chris sees several options for configuring security. Clicking on the link for security roles brings up a list of all the available security roles within the system. The fact box on the left hand side has a list of all the available security roles within the system. The fact box within the center has a list of all the duties and privileges related to the security role. In our example, we spoke about how Chris would like to ensure that all users with the title clerk get automatically assigned to the security role fleet management clerk. Let us now try and locate the fleet management clerk security role within the list of security roles in the system. As I scroll down the list, I notice that the fleet management clerk role is present. Clicking on the role brings up a list of associated duties and privileges with the role. A user's access to the system is determined by the security roles that he or she is assigned to. As we head back to the system administration area, you will notice that there is an option to assign users to role. Chris now clicks on this particular option. This brings up a dialog which has a list of all the security roles on the left hand side. In the center you will notice that there is an option for adding or removing rules for dynamically assigning users to roles. Since Chris wishes to set up rules related to the security role fleet management clerk, he scrolls down the list of security roles and clicks on the security role fleet management clerk. Once he gets there, he goes to the option to add a particular rule. Clicking on this button is going to bring up a list of queries that Chris can select from. In this case, Chris selects the query FM Dynamic Role Assignment Worker Title. The query selects users from the user info table that fulfill a certain criteria. Once Chris clicks OK, the rule gets associated with the particular role. Chris can now click on Edit Query to set the criteria that he wishes to match. Since the condition that Chris wants to fulfill is that any user with the title clerk should be assigned to this particular security role, Chris goes ahead and selects the value of clerk and adds it to the criteria for this particular query. When Chris clicks OK, the AX system will record the changes and ensure that any user fulfilling this criteria will get assigned to this particular security role. This dynamic role assignment runs as a bad job in the background and can be configured to run 
with a desired frequency. There is also the option on the top left to run automatic tone assignments if the administrator wishes to run this particular query at this given instance. Now that the dynamic role assignment rule has been set up for the fleet management clerk role, let us see how the system responds to changing business requirements. In this case, a new AX user named Terence has been added to the system. He has also been associated with a worker entry for him. Someone in the human resources department would likely edit the worker entry for Terence. In this case, Terence will get assigned the role clerk. When the entry gets saved, you will notice that the title for Terence reflects to be that of a clerk. Now let us go back to the form where Chris had set up the rule for dynamically assigning users to the role. As stated before, this particular query would run in the background as a bad job. However, if Chris decided to run this query at this particular instant, he could go ahead and click on the option to run automatic role assignment. Once he clicks on the button, you notice that the query has executed in the background and has determined that Terence meets this particular criteria because his title was assigned to be the clerk. If you were to now look at the details of the user Terence, you will notice that the fleet management clerk has been assigned to Terence. This means that the next time Terence accesses the system, his security will be governed with the security that is dictated by the fleet management clerk rule. There is one additional option related to the dynamic assignment of users to role. If you look back at the assign users to roles form, you will notice an option to assign organizations. When the assign organizations button is clicked, it brings up a form which allows you to select the organizations for the users that are selected as part of this particular query and assigned to the role fleet management clerk. In this case, you can see the fleet management organizational hierarchy that is exposed as a tree structure within this form. Now Chris can decide to either grant access to the clerks to an entire state, for example California, in which case he would select the button grant with children or alternatively he could grant access to a specific leaf node within this hierarchy let's say for example Los Angeles and grant access to that particular location this would imply that any users that are automatically assigned to this particular fleet management clerk role would be granted access to the Los Angeles location granting access to all organizations or to specific organizations within a hierarchy dictates the data access related to that user for that particular role. So let us recap what we saw in the video. The ability to do dynamic role assignment allows information technology managers of a Dynamics AX 2012 system to respond to changing business requirements without having to manually intervene at each step. We looked at the security roles within the system, saw how an information technology manager can configure the dynamic assignment of users to roles with the help of queries and also looked at how queries can be executed. Lastly, we also looked at how data security can be set for a user to role membership with the ability to assign organizations. The information technology manager's work is made simple with the use of dynamic role assignments.